Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here and welcome to the Spin the Wheel Challenge. In this challenge, there are 30 Great League Pokemon listed on a wheel and I spin that wheel three times, giving me three different Pokemon. I then have to build a team out of those three Pokemon and win with them in the Great League. And as you can see, I actually end up going 5-0 with five different Spin the Wheel teams. And so without further ado, let's hop into these battles. And one last thing, if you guys do enjoy content like this, definitely let me know because I can make this into a series if it's something that you guys really do decide that you enjoy. All right, here are the battles. All right, hopping into the first wheel spin here, as you can see, we have quite a few different names on there. We get Skarmory. So that is a really, really strong lead. That's a Pokemon that I do already have built, so that is going to be quite easy. Second wheel spin. We get wild card. This is, I was not expecting to get this one. This basically allows me to pick any Pokemon, any Great League Pokemon that I so desire, and we get Vigoroth. So we're in a really good spot here. For, for my wild card Pokemon, I do choose Obstagoon, so I can run a Skarmory Obstagoon Vigoroth team with the goal being to bait out the fighter. And here we get a really, really bad lead in Galvantula. I say swap into Vigoroth and we draw out an Azumarill. Here, unfortunately, my attack is debuffed, but I am going to be going for a bunch of body slams. Oh my goodness, with that debuff, body slam is doing nothing to Azumarill. Oh, that hurts. As you can see, can't even get to half health. We're going to let this go. We're going to let the Azumarill take us out since we're debuffed. Not really a point in shielding. We're going to wait our switch clock, and we're going to come in with Skarmory. And they throw after five, so this is just going to be an Ice Beam, so I don't have to worry about the Hydro Pump. And that's really not going to do a lot. I'm going to over farm by quite a bit here, and I'm going to go for a Sky Attack just before they do get to another Ice Beam. So now they have a decision to make, and they let it go, so they waste a bunch of energy, and they bring in a Victory Bell, then switch in a Galvantula. So that, um, what? Now I'm in a really good spot, because I basically know that... My Skarmory can sweep endgame, so I quick swap into Obstagoon, and my goal is just to get shields and apply a ton of pressure. And this is a Fury Cutter Galvantula, of all things. This is in like rank 16, so hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to be shielding up this Discharge, as that would hurt quite a bit. And I'm going to go for a charge move right away to try and take out that Galvantula, which we do because I do want to preserve health. And I have the second Sky Attack for the Victory Bell, and this is going to be more than enough to take out the Glassy Shadow Victory Bell and give us the win. So definitely a bit of a scuffed game one, but hey, we take it. So that's very good. Hopping into the next wheel spin, let's see what we get. We get Skarmory again. And so we actually go with Altaria because we didn't want to do the same Pokemon twice in a row. So we actually disregard the Skarmory spin. We need to get Altaria, Blossom, and let's see what the third one is that I get. And Nidoqueen, ooh. Altaria and Blossom, I do have two charge moves on. Nidoqueen, I do not, so this will be interesting. All right, hopping into the next game here, we are leading Altaria into a Victory Bell. This is a fantastic lead for us. We are double resisting. They bring in an Obstagoon. I don't have a great answer for Obstagoon, so I am going to let this Night Slash come through. I'm more than likely going to throw a Sky Attack just to soften up the Obstagoon, and then I'm going to switch in. And they actually shield that, so now I'm going to come in with the Nidoqueen. And I am going to let this go. We'll see how much this Night Slash does. Well, let's see, Nidoqueen is pretty tanky, so good on her. That That is fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to be shielding up the Night Slash, and we're going to be going for an Earth Power here momentarily, and we're going for the Earth Power. We did over farm a little bit just in case they decide not to shield, and they decide not to shield. So now we have some extra energy, and that should help us get to a charge move once the Victory Bell comes back in. Victory Bell comes back in, we are able to get to the Earth Power, and this would be doing some solid neutral damage, and we do get the shield. So now we're in a pretty good spot. We bring in the Altaria, they swap in a Stunfisk, and we have Bullet Seed Blossom. And that was really fast. This is going to be a Rock Slide, yep, which is the correct move. And since we have Bullet Seed, we are going to be able to spam out these Leaf Blades exceedingly quickly. And yeah, it we can get to a Leaf Blade before they get to another Rock Slide here. So we are in a really good spot because we do have a Shield Advantage. 
and they actually over farm and throw right before I do, so nice play there. Go for Rock Slide, but I do survive it. I have run Velocity quite a bit, so I'm pretty knowledgeable about what moves do what damage and whatnot. And they bring out the Victory Bell, I bring out Altaria. I don't really have to shield here, but I can. And then I should be able to get to the Sky Attack that is going to take out the Victory Bell and give me the game. So as you can see, kind of team building on the fly more or less, but still able to get the win. So we're now 2-0, and oh, so things are looking good, and we've been getting some decent Pokemon so far. Alright, hopping into the next wheel spin. Let's see what the wheel gives me. Breloom. Oh no, I have one charge move on this, and it is so, so glassy. This is going to be tough. Okay. Let's see what the next wheel spin gives me. Primeape. So we have double fighters. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Okay, we have double fighters and both cannot take a hit whatsoever. Let's see what they give me. And Azumarill. Hey, you know what? We can run Azumarill double fighter. That works out. Normally, I don't run Azumarill, but hey, this will be... And there's a Charmer. Oh, no. I have to kill this thing with, with Azumarill or my back line is going to be absolutely decimated. I am going straight Ice Beam. And the first Ice Beam lands, so that's fantastic. But you can see how much that charm damage is doing, my goodness. I am going to need to shield this up because neither one of my back Pokemon do want to see this. We do get a bit of lag there. I am going for an Ice Beam. And we do get the shield. And unfortunately, they are able to charm down. At this point, I come in with Breloom. Look how much that did half of Breloom's health. Oh my goodness, okay. We are in a little bit of trouble here. They bring in a Victory Bell. I'm going to go straight for Dynamic Punch. And we do get the Shield. And I Quick Swap into Primeape. And I'm able to get to a Night Slash. Primeape has a really high attack stat, so I'm really hoping this Night Slash will be enough to KO. It is. What's in the back? Oh, it's Stunfisk. Come on, just get to the Close Combat. Okay, we are going to need to Shield this, but if we can get to the Close Combat, then that should be enough to take it out. And we are able to get to the close combat. I did over farm by one. And yes, it does take it out. So we are able to take the win against a very, very meta line with our Azumarill and two fighters. All right, hopping into the next wheel spin, we get Wish Cash. Okay, interesting. Wish Cash. And Wish Cash is honestly pretty solid. I mean, you really have to watch out for grasses, but besides that, it. It has a lot of play. Wish Cash is our first spin. Let's see what they give us as the second spin here. Right, I'm apparently taking my sweet time with the wheel spin. Okay, here we go. Oh no. Oh no, Armaldo. Armaldo is deeply terrible. And then we get Altaria. So that's actually decent because Altaria gives us a nice grass cover, but Armaldo is so bad. I have a single charge moved Armaldo and I'm running cross poison. All right, here we have a Toxicroak lead. This is a pretty good lead for us as we are dealing super effective damage. Really nice catch onto the Azumarill by my opponent. And we are going to swap in our Armaldo because why not? We are running Fury Cutter Cross Poison, so we are gonna be able to get these Cross Poisons off pretty quickly. And unfortunately, they don't do a lot to Azu, so. <laughs> All right, we're going for a second Cross Poison that lands. And we are going to be shielding this up, actually. Just because we may be able to Fury Cut her down. Come on, let's see it. Let's see it. We're able to Fury Cut her down. And they quit! No! We somehow get an Armaldo win. Armaldo made a man rage quit. No way. All right. <laughs> up into the next one. First Pokemon we have is Sunny Cherub, which is a really, really solid pick. Let's see what we get with it. Vaporeon, again, another very, very underrated choice in the Great League. And we'll see what we have third. Cray Dilly, okay. So we have some like water, double grass action here. I like that. So we are going to lead the Vaporeon. And we actually do have not a Great lead. We're going to safe swap into our Cherum. And we're going straight for the Weather Ball. Does get the shield. And we do over farm a bit too much there, so we are going to need to match shields. But then we're going to be going straight for... Oh, unfortunately they stacked up to two. 
So, but we should be able to stack weather balls here. And if they shield, we should be able to fire off a second one. And they correctly realized that, yep, that I had two, unfortunately not able to farm down. So I am gonna need to fire off a second one to take them out. And Deoxys comes in. And at this point, I just go for the Dazzling Gleam, you know, just for a meme, may as well land a Dazzling Gleam. And hey, it lands, we will take that. <laughs> All right, they have Deoxys. The thing I'm worried about with Deoxys is it does have Thunderbolt. So I'm worried about bringing my Vaporeon in. And they do a really nice catch. And they catch onto the... Oh, no, that was not the move. Why did you catch a Grass Knot on regular Stunfisk? Oh, no. <laughs> in there, I was trying to switch out and catch a Mud Bomb onto my Vaporeon. Didn't quite work out for me, unfortunately. And I'm actually going to swap in and Water Gun down the Stunfisk. Okay, Deoxys comes out. I'm expecting this to be a Thunderbolt if they have it. It is. That does a ton of damage. But as you can see, Vaporeon's fairly tanky. It absolutely ate that Thunderbolt going for the aqua tail just to get the shield and we're hoping that we can force them to throw and they throw which is perfect because we have loaded energy on cradilly and we're going to be able to go for the grass knot and this is going to be more than enough to take out the deoxys and give us the game so good games to all my opponents who i played there and as you can see this challenge was a ton of fun initially my thought was is i would just have three pokemon and then kind of showcase a video where it showed however many attempts it took for me to win, but hey, going 5-0, and oh, figured I should showcase that as well. So that just shows that not necessarily the Pokemon you pick, but how you team build is so important in the Go Battle League. Even with less than ideal Pokemon, I was still able to put together teams and get some wins. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it as always. If you're new and you're enjoying the content, uh, definitely feel free to hit subscribe. It's free and really does help out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.